right. I love coffee. Um, usually make me a batch of coffee every morning. We have this like ninja inside, this ninja coffee maker. Um, I've actually made myself a coffee maker with some copper pipe, a glass funnel. It was just a slow drip. Um, and I think we should be able to show you the video we made previously. That coffee maker has been great. It was one of our first coffee makers we made. I actually have one right here. This is our last one going out. This guy. Ooh, just like so. With that coffee maker, I wanted to make a version two coffee maker. I wanted to discontinue that one and make something a little bit better, a little bit more practical, a little bit more appealing, and one I didn't have to use wood forms. I gotta design some stuff on the computer. I need to make sure that the copper pipe fitting inside the silicone is gonna be perfect. I don't want any, it can't, it can't be loose, it can't be too tight. Um, that's gonna be my biggest challenge is getting that dialed in. Even a half a millimeter off, it's gonna not be snug. Also with the silicone shrinking over time, I gotta make it so it's a little bit tapered so I can fit it in over time over multiple pours. So let's get that going. I gotta do some little practice cubes just to see if I can get the whole diameter right and the taper right. So that's the next step. All right. First one, first little cube. Just got my calipers and made sure that the diameter was roughly the same. Gonna get this little guy. It doesn't fit, and that's why we do these test runs. I don't want to print a huge block uh, and waste all the plastic, waste all the time. That diameter hole is not gonna fit. Um, I'll make another one. <laughs> all right, round two. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I think it's still too tight, but I'm gonna make another one. Okay. Cross your fingers, third time, the charm. So with that being said, ooh, ooh, let's do that again. Ready? Ooh, it fits. So I now have that diameter square dialed in. I know exactly the size it needs to be. And I'll just do this and make a big, larger block. But now to design the new coffee maker. We're gonna make this one with a little bit of, a, I guess a cup holder with a little bit, with a few small divots maybe is what you wanna call them, just to be water retention, just to hold water and maybe be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, get designing it right now. After it's done printing, we'll start processing it, get the shell done, a lot to do. All right, this thing has got to warm up a little bit. I need to redo some of that. I need to redo some of that tape. Set up the webcam. Done off the 3D printer. It is actually not the best 3D print job. Um, I should have maybe done 
maybe a medium quality instead of a fast quality. You can just see a lot of the layers. Um, I'm gonna have to Bondo it. I'm just gonna, instead of reprinting it, I'm just gonna get it Bondo again. Um, I gotta Bondo it anyway, so might as well just Bondo the whole thing. Ooh. Those are gonna need to be fixed. They look pretty rough. Um, other than that, shouldn't be too bad. Probably take a couple coats of sanding and everything else. So. Second coat is now dry of Bondo. I need to just sand this thing and hopefully I don't need to do another coat. Um, and then we're just waiting for that shell to print. As soon as that shell's printed, we will get this thing molded and out the door. All right, I just noticed something. It's not good with the 3D printer. I'm having a little bit of adhesion problems with the shell, so I'll show you what I mean but basically just means I have to restart. I thought the tape would be big enough, but I was off by maybe half an inch, and so it's not sticking at all. I'll show you, it sucks. All right. Right there. I didn't put enough tape down. Crap. But I caught it before it got too late, so just need to put some new tape down and re-go, so. It's done. <sighs> After three attempts, finally have it all done. Um, had a couple failed prints. They just were not adhering, but whatever. Um, let's see if I can get this thing off. So, hold on, time out, I need a little tool. A little 3D print spatula that came with the 3D printer. Um, just gets stuff off the mat. So. There's one. There we go. All right, I think I have everything ready to go to get this molded. This piece is finally buttery smooth. Alexa always makes fun of me. Hey, what are you laughing at over there? Buttery smooth. Shh, whatever. <laughs> um, it's cute. It's cute, she says. <laughs> This comment if you agree. Co yeah, comment. <laughs> um, but yes, all of this is smooth, buttery smooth. Um, ready to go. So, just to make sure we did the test on those little black cubes before, is just to make sure that this also fits nice. 
and snug, and it does. So we're good there. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. All right, so now that that's done, and now that our shell is done, we have little arms. Might have to show you a different way, but we made these little arms. These are gonna be hot glued together and held with clamps down around it. I'll show you. Ugh. Big old fat glob so it doesn't float away. Reload. Again, this part is not the cutest. I hate hot gluing. These do. These are just gonna hold my silicone oh, from escaping. So these will clamp so it's an easy release so the silicone is easy to pop out. This is ready for some silicone. Okay, let's silicone it up. All right, final day of doing this project. It is, all the silicone is dry finally. Um, so we're just gonna, All right, it's out of the mold. I gotta clean up the mold a little bit more. Um, but overall, I'm impressed, I love it. Um, I gotta go clean it first just to get all the Bondo off the mold. Um, I do need this to go out ASAP. I do have an order for this one. So 
I gotta go clean this mold and then we're gonna pour directly into it. And then in about four hours, we should be able to do something with it. our new coffee maker. I love it. So much better than our last one. <sighs> yes. So last video we did, we did a giveaway for some taper candle holders, our taper candle holder number three and $50 in store credit as a giveaway. We just want to announce the winner right now. And that is drum roll. Tawny Moore. Um, so we are also gonna tag you on Instagram, tag um, the winner on Instagram and notify everyone else on Instagram as well. But that is it for the coffee maker. I gotta go make some other stuff. On to the next project. See ya.